Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do you guys' this message. Okay, Virgo, thank you for all the love and support you've been showing the channel. Uh, this message is going to be for the month of April. <clears throat> Just some energies you'll go through, okay, um, Virgo? Let's get started. I was shuffling all through all the cards, and the, the message I'm kind of getting with your energy in April, it's like, it's about, it's about something you're trying to manifest. So basically, um, pay attention to like reoccurring thoughts and emotions that you're having, because whatever these thoughts and emotions that, that, that keep coming up to the surface, you kind of keep pushing them back down. And this is what's blocking out your manifestation. Once you get come into this revelation you finna have, cause it's like, you're going to have a, this, this, <clears throat> this aha moment, this breakthrough. And it's going to show you why things have been slowed down or why, why, why stuff is not coming into fruition. Okay. So it's very important through the month of April or whenever you see this video, because it's timeless, it's very important for you to kind of pay attention to that. And it's going to help you navigate through any type of like blockages you have. I really do feel like it's something, <clears throat> it could be like a belief system or it's just something that don't go, don't, don't mesh well with what you're trying to manifest. It could be a belief system, a, a thought pattern. It could even be disbelief that this would actually come in, but whatever it is, it's like, it's the main reason why things are the thing, what this very thing that you've been working on and putting a lot of effort in is not turning out the way you want it to. And this could also be in a relationship. Okay. <clears throat> but I feel mostly strongly that this is about like something you're trying to create something you're trying to build and it has a lot to do with your wealth your abundance okay look at this you have the devil and that's temptation in this deck so number six let me get one more message for virgo heartache and loss Discontent and boredom. Hmm. So whatever happened to you in your past kind of got you like kind of closed off a little bit. And it, it just kind of happened it to where you constantly thinking negative about like the things that's going on right now. I feel like it has you a little closed up. Like you don't want to open up to anything right now too with this, especially with this, uh, this is the four of cups. There will, it's a change coming in in regards to this though. So as soon as you have this revelation it's going to invite a uh, change in a more happier time for you. And you also have um, movement choices and decisions. So it may have to be, you deciding to get out your head about this so you can get out of this trapped in fear. It's something like that. It's a lot of recognition. I feel like um, you're going to recognize a certain pattern or something is what I'm getting. Let's get some more. Divine messages for Virgo. You have discernment that came out. Okay. So with discernment coming out in this deck, discernment talks about like, uh, maybe you trying to make a decision Virgo. And this is saying that like you, you could feel like you could be searching for answers with this discernment, but the divine is saying you already have all the answers that you need. Like it's nothing more about this situation. It's crazy. Cause I channeled this, um, yesterday, but there's nothing more about this situation that you need to know. So basically any decision you need to make about it, you already have what it like every all the information you can possibly gather about whatever this is, whatever um, kind of disappointment you suffer, something that was toxic. You could be figuring out how to move forward with this. Should I, should I um, take cancel this out completely or should I just um, and move a whole nother direction or should I keep moving forward and proceed? Especially if this got something to do with love. So it's just about discerning which action you're going to take from this point on. You don't have to. Um, yeah. You see that resilience at the bottom. That's about keep moving forward or do I drop this completely? Let me get you some more. Let's get, let's get some tarot. Like I had a 10 of cups. I already shuffled all the decks. Okay. 
message for Virgo for the month of April or when they see this message. If that you have the five of pentacles. Judgment. Let's get some more. Four of Wands. And this is the thickest deck known. The Wheel of Fortune. Good. Then you have the Empress. See, you're in you're an Empress energy. But you the Five of Cups is showing up here. The Five of Pentacles, I mean, with temptation. Maybe you feel like whatever this is that you want, whether this is a relationship um, or this could be a business venture, you feel like that you, it can't be done, like you don't have what it takes. But with the Empress here, to me, it's saying like embracing all aspects of this, you know, don't just kind of get tempted when things go wrong to feel like giving up because you had the will of fortune here. Okay, Virgo, sorry, let me move this over so you can see a little better. You had a will of fortune here. And right now what you're doing is you building that foundation for whatever this is that you want. Okay. So it's about deciding to kind of leave any of this negative, um, this negative thinking or something like that or pessimistic. That's what I'm getting with that out in the cold. So you can get exactly what it is you want. Like it's, it's, it's about, cause I did see, it's like you end in one cycle. You probably in sort of like the void right now, rest and reset. And then you coming into something new. So <clears throat> it's about like everything that happened in the past is just kind of like leaving that alone because you have something so much better coming in for you with the four of wands and the will of fortune. So the will of fortune is about this um, things turn around the way you hoped it, it hoped it to. And anytime the empress come up, Virgo, that means that you definitely have what it takes to bring this into reality. Nothing's holding you back except for like your perspective. You see that? This is underneath there. The only thing that's holding you back is how you viewing this or thinking about it. And it could be because it's been a lot of stagnation in the past, too. And that's what with this uh, page of source. That's what you could have been trying to figure out. Like, is this going to ever come together with this three of cups? This could be a relationship. But I'm feeling strongly it's different for uh, each and every one of you. Even in this, you see like the ships is coming in. It's some. Let me see what this blockage is. Is there anything you can give me for Virgo to help them see? I feel like it's this energy right here, just the five of pentacles and temptation. What else can Virgo know to move this blockage? Two of cups. Two of cups mean balance to me. It can mean opening up your heart to this situation. Putting down burdens right here, this fell off. And just starting over again, uh, Virgo, whatever happened in the past, just knowing that those were lessons that you need to have to learn. Like, cause see, it's, it's called, you see that block here that I was getting the two of swords is causing that to happen. And it's like, uh, you already an empress energy and the divine is working in your favor with the, uh, will of fortune. So it's like right now it's all about just deciding to build this foundation and keep moving, taking everything from the past and kind of chuckling it to the side because not like it's, um, I don't want to say it like it's, I ah, it ain't nothing because I understand it, but, um, it's just like, it was there to teach you a lesson, but what it's doing now is like, what was there to teach you a lesson is now hindering you with this, uh, 10 of wands. You get what I'm saying? Cause now it's like you carrying it for so long, you can't even see a way forward, but you an empress energy when, if all you did was drop it, then you can be able to see your way forward, okay? And don't anything like this type of energy, what I learned how to do with it, Virgo, was kind of embrace it and work through like my negative thought patterns because every time you try to wipe it away, it just kind of creep back up and it gets stronger and stronger. So it's about like embracing like what what is really going on with me to way I feel like, because I feel like you are able to like manifest whatever you really want, especially coming up as the empress. What is it in me that make me feel like this is this one thing I can't do? And that's just the message that I'm getting. Let's get some more. Let's see. I got like a lot of decks. Let's see what's like self-care message that can help you with this. Two of 
Message for Virgo and self-care. <laughs> I figured this was going to come out. Make a vision board. 33. Okay, this is about mastering your, your, your mind so you can bring it into your reality. Because your mind is getting the best of you right now and it's kind of blocking your way forward. So making a vision board would be the best thing for you, Virgo. <clears throat> Soak in a bath underneath there. And then that can help. And that's a 10. So I feel like I, I feel like this cycle is almost over. It's just like it's something that's keeping it stuck in there. Let's see what else we can get. Stuck keeping you stuck in this cycle. Let's see. Look, trying at the bottom, which is flow. So things are finna start flowing in. Eighth house intimacy, and it flew out in reverse. Investment and mm. you could be lacking that. Um, you could feel like you lacking intimacy from a partner, like you feel alone in a way, and that could be causing this block. Or you could feel like no longer investing in it. But I feel like most of all, this is saying no longer investing in these lower energies. Make vision boards, like kind of see towards the future is what I'm getting from that. And then look, you have Mars. Mars is a planet of like that action, that desire, that impulse, that courage, the force. Like forcing yourself through whatever this is that's kind of holding you back. Because that's where the blessing is. And with resilience, Virgo, this is saying like to keep growing. Because it's causing growth within you, right? But it's also like, if you really think about it, it wouldn't say keep going if it wasn't nothing there at the end of the road. You get what I'm saying, Virgo? <clears throat> Let's get some more. Messages for Virgo. <laughs> and look, Mars again. So Mars is a masculine planet. It's, it's, it's like... It's like having that drive again. You need that drive again, Virgo. You losing that spark you had at first. I feel like whatever this is, it's like you losing that, that, that spark, that passion, especially with uh, this coming out. And then Mars was at the bottom of that deck. It's about action. And then it says confronting of, the confronting of. So confronting this, this, this devil energy. And I, I feel like it's just, Especially with discontent and boredom and five of pentacles, it's just like it's a fa it's starting with your heart though. Something that disappointed you, but it's trickling down into all areas of your life, <clears throat> and it's kind of affecting your your confidence. Okay, so I feel like this vision board would be very helpful for you. Let's see what else we can get. Anything to look forward to for Virgo? Hope. There you go. And in faithfulness. So being faithful and having hope for your dreams to actually come into fruition. And I feel like this is saying like when you have that drive to have keep that keep hope up, you know, what I'm saying keep that hope and faith alive. That's why this vision board will be great for you. Hopefully you can see it. That's why it'd be great for you, because you will always have that to look at and just kind of like. OK, this is where I'm setting my mind to, because it seems like after a while you kind of lose the vision that you have for whatever this is or the hope and stuff like that or just not want to take the action, kind of lose that drive. And that's what I feel like this whole message is about, because you got action and action and then you have discernment. Then you have eighth house, eighth house energy. I wonder if it's something like inherited. Let me clarify this. Clarify this divine that eighth house energy, please. Then you have Gemini. Curious, commuted, communicative, versatile, flexible. Okay. So you have some real strong beliefs that you inherited uh, being raised, kind of growing up of uh, Virgo. And it's, it's a need to be a little bit more flexible. And that's what's kind of like um, restricting you a little bit also, Virgo. 
That's why this vision board to help because maybe to help you see where these were like where you, where are you restricting yourself? Let's see what else we can get. Message for Virgo. Commitment. The good thing about the commitment card that this is a yes for whatever this is. But also what I'm getting is, is this is Venus energy also. So bringing in that love, bringing in uh, the heart, that, that passion you had before for, what, for whatever this is. And also staying commitment and not wavering, okay? Especially with the fox. I feel like something kind of like... Pay attention with this fox, especially with it being Neptune energy. Pay attention to any like illusions that sneak up on you and these illusions could be this never going to happen I, I never I can't do this like stay strong in what you really want because the most important thing <laughs> is the goal like I can't explain what I'm saying but pay attention to like any like pessimistic thing that's kind I think it kind of sneaks up on you and then once it's already there you kind of already in this mode see uh where you are being triggered at let me get you one more card and then I close the reading Earth connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded. And I feel like that has a lot to do with this emotions. Your emotions go kind of waver and then it kind of makes you not want to commit or just kind of retract, go back and forth is the message that I'm getting. Maybe spending some time outdoors. I'm just seeing a lot of hope and letting go but it's something especially with this Gemini car maybe being more versatile and flexible and then you can do like some variety seeking you see it say variety seeking here How, what are what is other ways can I bring this in for me maybe that's what this about sorry this thing is not as focusing staying connected to the to to uh to Gaia. See, it says adaptive to street smart. That's the message I'm getting, okay, Virgo? Maybe being more adaptive to whatever's going on, a little more flexible. I feel like it's a, a sort of a rigid energy here too, okay, Virgo? I hope this helps for hope this helps. Bye.